On this vote, the yeas are 46, the nays are 48, three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted. In the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. That right there was a video of abortion rights dying in the Senate. Now, in the likely event the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade, well, that was kind of a way to codify abortion rights into law, but the GOP blocked it, and one Democrat decided to join with them. Can you guess who? Of course, it was Joe Manchin. So as Jake Johnson of Common Dreams explains, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin on Monday joined Senate Republicans in blocking legislation that would codify abortion rights into federal law, a vote that came as the conservative-dominated U.S. Supreme Court prepared to rule on a case that could strike a fatal blow to Roe v. Wade. The final vote on whether to advance the House-passed Women's Health Protection Act was 46 to 48, well short of the three-fifths supermajority needed to break the Republican-led filibuster. Every Senate Republican present voted no while every Democrat, with the exception of Manchin, voted yes. The House passed the WHPA in September, shortly after the Supreme Court let stand, a draconian Texas law that deputizes private citizens to enforce the state's near-total ban on abortions. The Republican-authored Texas law, which inspired copycat bills across the country, has caused a 60% decline in abortions performed in the state. Now, at the time that I record this video, we don't know what Manchin's excuse is. Maybe it doesn't have bipartisan support. Maybe he just wanted to be a dick. Either way, what he's doing here is ridiculous. I mean, he's supposed to be the socially liberal, fiscally conservative, moderate Democrat, but here he is siding with the GOP to block abortion rights. Now, contrary to popular belief, if you ban abortion, you're not going to get rid of abortions. You're just going to force women to go to other states, or more harmfully, you're going to force women to pursue illegal, unsafe abortions. So it's actually not a pro-life position because if women are resorting to unsafe, illegal abortions, then that poses a greater risk to their health and they may die as a result of this. So if you're pro-life, then obviously you want to respect women, right? And if you're pro-life, really, wouldn't you want to tackle poverty and be an anti-imperialist, fight war, provide all Americans with health care so thousands of Americans every single year don't die? Don't you think that's the actual pro-life position? It is. It's just that these Republicans don't actually care about life because their actions demonstrate that they couldn't care less if human beings perish. What they care about is controlling women. That's what this is about. And Manchin just aided them in that particular effort. Now, we'll know pretty soon whether or not this far-right Supreme Court is actually bold enough to force women into getting back alley coat hanger abortions in the year 2022. Quote, in a matter of weeks, the Supreme Court is expected to hand down its ruling in Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization, a case that poses a direct threat to abortion protections enshrined under the high court's 1973 decision in Roe v. Wade. The case is centered on a Mississippi law that prohibits abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, a ban that other Republican-led states have sought to replicate. In oral arguments held in December, a majority of justices on the high court appeared poised to uphold the Mississippi law. Now, we've talked about this before. The Supreme Court could rule more narrowly, and they could just simply uphold the Mississippi law, which further restricts access to abortion. Or they could take it all away and just allow states to ban abortion. Now, in the event this were to happen, if they were to say Roe v. Wade is null and void, you can now enact your own abortion bans. Well, the Guttmacher Institute predicts that 26 states, these ones in particular, would likely ban abortion. And there are multiple states like South Dakota and Utah, which have what's known as trigger laws, which, I mean, in the event Roe v. Wade is overturned, abortion would automatically be banned because the law would then be triggered. So here's a list of states to watch who, at a minimum, would effectively ban abortions with six-week limits, which, for all intents and purposes, is a ban on abortion. So, I mean, we don't know how bad it's going to get. It's not like I expected this to actually pass, but still to have Joe Manchin side with Republicans again. But when it comes to a social issue, I mean, I just got to ask, what's the point of Joe Manchin? Why is he a Democrat? If you're fiscally conservative and socially conservative, won't even support the basic right of abortions in the United States, then just switch parties at this point. I don't understand why you're a Democrat. Why are you pretending as if you're a Democrat? You're not. So just switch parties at this point. You're, you're useless.